Hello and welcome back to Opus Magnum. I just opened up Steam and saw that there was an update for this game, so I had to check. And yes, 100%, there is a new issue of the Journal of Alchemical Engineering, issue number 9. So, I say, let's get straight into it. What do we got? This and this, and we are going to just reconfigure it and create some intense fire bonds here. So this should be exciting times. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, obviously we're gonna need all this stuff without question. And grab me one of these. All right, let's get started. Grab and turn, boom. That'll do, that'll do. And I can just pivot if I want, but then I'm going to need some other action to occur. Okay, so now we've got the fire here. And the question really is what I want to do. with this puzzle. Do I want to add a second arm right now and take this fire away? Or do I want to just go straight for the single arm challenge? Obviously, I'm bad at decision making because I haven't decided yet. Uh, I do see that we're going to end up having a problem with this coming back. So let's go ahead and just try to nip that if we can. Okay. So now we've got that to happen. And that's okay. Not necessarily what I want, but that's alright. Uh, let's see. So now... I'm honestly, I'm thinking let's just throw another one right there. We'll have this over here somewhere. And, um... Let's knock a plus. Boom, make that cut. There you go. So now, we can pivot once more, and that'll give us our first fire. So we want to release, retract, grab, and I'm thinking like, retract, and turn, and something like that? So turn, turn, release. Okay, you see what I'm going for there? So now, yeah, we'll just pivot that again, release, retract, grab, retract, turn, and that's going to give us the blue connection. So I think what we want to do is immediately pivot it out to give us the yellow connection, then turn again, and if we're holding this like this, and we turn, it's gonna, it's gonna turn with it, right? I'm not sure. Uh, let's watch, let's watch. It does, okay. So, double piv this way. And that'll be fine, but then I think you need to pivot it back out just to make sure 
we're getting the proper connection there. So release, and now turn, turn, double extend, grab, and This is interesting. Uh, we could piv now, but that will get rid of a connection that we don't really want to get rid of. Uh, we could retract it first, and then pivot it, which may be what we have to do. Or we could pivot the other direction, which is probably what we should do. So like, grab and then trip piv that way. Maybe five pip. Oh, nope, not not five. Hmm. This is interesting. This is interesting. I'm not sure yet what we should do. Alright, I think let's try pulling it back. That feels like the best chance of success with this. So, can we now double pivot and then extend it again? Sort of. Except it's, it's also, that still puts that there, which doesn't which doesn't give... we don't have access to that. Not with a single arm, anyway. And of course we could just change the way this is constructed, but that seems too easy. I'm gonna go with minus and then piv and see what that does for us. Yeah, that, that that deletes a connection that we wanted to have. That's what that does. That's what that does. I think we have to add this. Okay, so we do that, and then we minus, pivot to the right again, and then pull it back down through? Like, I, I just don't know what else we can do. Okay, so now I guess plus plus grab minus 
I don't know. I don't know where else to go with this. Plus plus, grab minus. Okay, so now we've done that. Okay, so release, extend, grab, turn. Double retract. One, two, three, extend. Release, extend, grab, pivot left. Release, retract, turn, turn. Okay, that's cool. Grab, double pivot this way. Turn it. And now we have that. So what I'd like to see, if you don't mind, pivot it out to the side, retract, pivot it out to the side, plus turn, something like that. And you gotta pivot that one more time. I'm going for a very weird connection here. Uh, that's gonna work though. That is it? No, I don't think it quite is. Yeah, not quite. But we can release, retract, turn, grab. Okay. I can't just pivot it as much as I want to. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Let's try it. Pivot minus minus. Yeah, that worked. Except, that's not the way we want the connection to be. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, so, forget about all that nonsense. Alright, so that's. That is not what we want. So let's uh, minus release one, two, three, double extend, grab, double retract, turn, turn, and minus. Okay. Now. Is where it gets a little crazy. So I want you to extend, pivot right, but I don't think we can just pivot right again. I think we need to do a bunch of release and re-pivot situation. Except that by pivot that again we're gonna end up crashing, so this needs to not be here, basically. Damn, that happened so fast.
double extend. What the, what the hell was that? Okay, plus plus grab minus. It's supposed to be release extend. But like we were already extending, so. Let's get rid of that. This needs to be one, two to the right. And then we also need to add a minus on there. Release, extend the grab, pivot. Okay. I think we need to add a plus on this. I think that's what we're missing. Because we added that minus before. Pivot, pivot, turn, pivot. That's a lot of effort there. I feel like I, I could probably be doing that in a quicker way. But that's how it is right now. And that's how it's going to stay for right now. So... Piv, fantastic. Now we're going to need to release, retract, grab, piv. Pivot, extend, release, retract, grab, extend, piv. See what we're going for? There you go. Pip. Beautiful. So now is where it gets a little trick. A little trick. What I'd like to do is release, double retract, turn, grab, one, two, three, trip, piv. That would be beautiful, but I don't think that's going to actually work. Right. It doesn't quite work. But. If I add a plus in there, I think it will. Two. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. So, release, double retract. Plus, plus. Plus, grab, plus, triple piv. Beautiful. Now, minus, minus, extend. It's going to do a great job with this. 
And then we just need to figure out where the pivot point needs to be here. So, boom, there's your extension. Now, honestly, uh, plus plus extend will do this. So, plus plus extend and then turn. And clear. And what's going to happen here? We're holding this right now. We're going to go plus, plus, extend. And then he's going to turn it. So by my count, right there is where it's going to finish. Beautiful. Fantastic. So yeah, maybe maybe not the cleanest, but I think we got a good area here, and I think we probably have a really good cost. Uh, I would not, honestly, I would not be surprised if I'm the first person who's completed this puzzle. So uh, I'm not going to have much on the way of metrics to compare myself to, but I think I did okay in those two respects. Uh, I obviously I could clean it up, but I'm pretty happy with this. I, th I think we did all right. For our first attempt. 88 area, by the way. Keep going. And cycle counts just shy of 800. But yeah, there you go. You see nobody else has done this. So that is where we are right now. Uh, I hope... I hope you're ready to see some more Opus Magnum because it is back in full effect. And on the next episode, we will be doing Vanishing Material. So as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I hope that I see you soon.